Hi and welcome to my playhouse and we're in the creepy basement and I'm wearing my reading glasses because I need to look really smart because I fucked up. I have been messing with the battery of the robot lawnmower and it's right here because the battery wasn't working very well and I brought it down here and I figured out that it was out of balance and then I left it here all winter because uh, well, the grass didn't need cutting here during the winter and then I thought well I better start charging it now so uh, I found out which cells was low and yeah most of them had gotten low so this thing isn't very good either it has just been standing there and discharging the battery which was not fantastic and uh, then I was looking at this um, IMAX and um, it actually has a battery charger slash a balancer but it only goes up to six cells and my battery is seven cells so yeah wonderful um but then i fucked up i was charging this the blocks of battery with the lowest voltage to get them up to voltage so that I, the bms would be able to handle it and i fucked up by putting in the wrong polarity so instead of having uh, plus here I connected minus and I had the power supply uh, feed it all night with the wrong polarity and I messed up the batteries so um, I need to take all of this apart and see uh, which of the cells are salvageable and which is just junk and I have to rebuild it again which is of course a lot of fun <clears throat> if you don't understand my sarcasm that was it so um, yeah, I'm gonna take that apart. So we might as well uh, turn on the soldering iron here. It's gonna be needed. Oh, maybe we need to... Uh, I put some, some new tips for it. Uh, they came in from China. So that's gonna be interesting. And I think for this, uh, I just need a big one. Maybe that one is, that's kind of big. Just need to transfer a lot of heat while I'm just taking this apart. Cool. Okay, it's way easier before you turn it on. So you can kind of just undo this oops and this comes out and the tip is there this is the one so these are the I only have two for it so I'm gonna try one of the new Chinese ones and see how they are so let's let's take this big beefy one here that we just saw this one let's see if that goes down there yeah, so it looks about right. Okay, it doesn't look very cool, but well, let's see if it if it heats it. Um, you're just gonna need a lot of heat and power on. And I'm gonna go and make the sponge wet. So I'm hoping to make this again, so I don't wanna break it more than necessary. So yeah, let's see. Scissors. And I think I'm gonna be able to complete it in this video. Um, so it's probably gonna be a couple of videos to get this up and running again. Oh yeah, it's transferring some good heat. There. The battery is loose, so um, we need to take that apart. So we need to dismount all this metal that is on there. I don't know if that's savable or if I should, or if I should just throw it out. Yeah, I might as well check if I can get it off in one piece. Okay, that, that was pretty hard to get off of there. Uh, not really worth my time, but yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it, they're a bit messy, so I'll just use the soldering iron and heat them up, all of them here on both sides. 
Um, yeah, and this uh, Chinese tip is working really well. So, and it's able to put a lot of heat on there very quickly. All of these batteries, some of them are okay, some of them are completely fried and dead. So I need to take this apart and we will have to check all the batteries again. And I just happen to have six of these and I needed seven. It just means that it's gonna take a little bit longer. So uh, yeah, I um, guess I just have to be happy that I actually have six. So it, it won't take that long. Okay, this doesn't wanna come apart. And I, didn't, I wasn't planning on taking it apart already. There. So let's just take a roll at a time and see what we can do. These Optus BTC3100 are really smart devices. You, um, you take a cell and you put it in there and it will charge the cell up to full charge and then it will drain it again and see how many milliamp hours and this is where this number comes from because when I built this or checked the cells I did this procedure and I've written it on all the batteries so this cell had this cell had 2223 milliamp hours on it charger will discharge it again and it keeps track of how much power that was in the battery. And when it's done with that, it will charge it again. So um, yeah, let's, um, let's try and put in some cells. When we put this cell in for the first time, first we have to make sure to put it in the right way and plus is up and minus is down. So when we put it in, it's gonna ask us how fast it's gonna be discharging it. There, this is not a bad cell. So 500 milliamp, it's gonna discharge with. We're okay with that. Then we pick the mode. Okay, to prepare this, we can. Um, we want it to, to do a charge test. So it will charge it up, it will discharge it, give us an overview of how many milliamp hours there was on it. Um, so we can set all the slots to that. So let's um, pick all, we can pick one slot at a time here, or we can pick all the slots, and well, then we can pick the mode and charge test there and then we can put in our cell and it want to do that with 500 milliamps I could change that if I wanted to do it with more or less so let's put in some more batteries here that one was also not too bad 3.6 volts Yeah, it's gonna be doing that. Okay, I put in all the batteries that I could fit there. There is four left, uh, there. And uh, we have some up here that says null, which just means that they are working correctly. So we're gonna, we're gonna take some of those out and try and put in another one. Put in this one. Yeah, it, it, that one is good. This one is also just a null. So let's have another one in. That one worked as well. Let's take in these stick take out these two. Also just some that I working. That one did not pop up. Oh, now it did maybe just a bad connection there and this one right away so now we have a lot of batteries um, charging and it shows how many milliamp hours it's charging it with um, so some of them are, are doing okay and the ones that are, are charging with 500 milliamp hours well they're doing quite well if they are charging with a like 11 milliamp or 5 milliamps here that's not great that is very doubtful that that battery is going to be very good 21 up here pretty bad these are all pretty bad this one is not doing too great 
We can kind of change the display to show the voltage. And it kind of also shows that there are some of the batteries with really low voltage. This is 2 volts and 1.6 volts. Another 2 volts down here. And that's usually the same cells that are not charging very quickly. There is nothing more to do right now than let this run. Uh, maybe I should uh, try and put these in another charger. I have a really cheap, stupid Chinese charger here. Uh, which I should probably make sure is at the right voltage. It is. What? Okay. So let's try and put the batteries in here and see if we get anything out of that. Well, it's weird. Okay, so um, this has been charging for a couple of hours now. Uh, unfortunately, they well, I'm charging them so slow that this takes a while. 500 milliamps isn't a lot, um, as well, a battery like this, 2517, that would take like five hours to charge that from from discharged to charged so, and they haven't been on here that long some of them are pretty close this one is uh, well, close 4.12 volts when it gets to about 4.2 volts it will start the discharging also this one is doing pretty well this one is not far behind up here is one that is also not doing that bad 4.06 but that's just the present charge of them if the capacity is still good i have no idea i have a couple of batteries here that are not doing too great 2.2 volts and well 1.98 volts and if we check the, the amperage we can see that they are only charging with very little and that's um well these are smart chargers it it knows not to to try and pump a lot of power into a bad battery so um, it does it very smart and there's a good chance that the charger will be able to relive the battery and um, make it good again by doing it that very slow way it will take forever but it might just relive the battery and probably tomorrow it will have a result for me and tell me how good or bad that battery is it's the next day and we can kind of see some of the results here uh, if we just start up here this battery which used to be 2503 uh, now says that it has a capacity of 730 this one is much closer to where it was at it was 2400 now it's 2329 that is still good this one is uh, right now discharging so we don't have a number for that one yet we see that it's discharging test this one over here, 2260, still a good cell. This one, also a good cell, even though it lost 200 milliamp hours. Um, these are, this is still charging. This is discharging and discharging. Then we have, uh, this one is only 1170. So that's about half of what it used to be, even, even below that. Uh, over here we have a good cell. These two are most likely crap. Uh, 1748 well, not too bad but um, well yeah it's not great this one is terrible it's uh, it was 2415 now it's 772 uh, this one is good 2345 is, is still less this one is also less but still okay this one is still charging so therefore probably not too great this one has also lost a lot of capacity. This one is about half of what it used to be. This one is good-ish. This one is charging and really bad. 721 uh, discharging, discharging and discharging. So ah, a lot of these batteries has gone bad. So I actually have the first battery here that is totally completely done with the test. So um, this was a really bad one. It went from 2415 down to 772. Terrible. So I want to give it another go, um, but to to make sure that I 
know that this is on its second go i'm gonna take this label and i'm gonna place it in a different way it could be good to know which what it was at at some point so we're just gonna leave it down here so that way we can see that there's something different and then we're just gonna reset it and i do just do that by um, disconnecting it for a few seconds and then it will zero it and if we just pop it in again it will start a new test it will charge it up which it is already at and then it will discharge it again and we will see if we get a different result it's not sure but these, um, full we might are of course so done now it's already i'm going to take everything over 2000 and say it has been seen that cells are really bad the first time but yeah it's i'm just gonna try that okay it's hours later and mostly all of them are done uh, there is a few that is still working this one is still charging all good yeah all good and um, this one uh, which uh, that one we tested that again and that did not become any better um, 500 and yeah it's a bad one so i'm gonna make new labels for all the ones over 2000 okay that was um actually kind of funny because um, it turns out that exactly half of the batteries are still okay ish over 2000 milliamp hours um, i'm missing one here because that is still charging over here otherwise all the other ones are below 2000 milliamp hours and i'm gonna reach uh, reset all of them and see if any of them comes up over that is also gonna take a while I have a couple of batteries here that was really bad and um, I, I couldn't charge them up again and this is why they, they are shorted so uh, at least two bad ones uh, 25 and 23 so yeah two is definitely dead so <clears throat> we need some new ones let's just let's just keep to the color scheme it doesn't really matter how much amperage they have 2381 that's cool everything over two will go so yeah let's let's get the first three ready i changed my mind i'm preparing the first eight i am calculating that um, some of these up here is not going to become good so i'm going to be needing some more okay the chargers has been well probably four hours since uh, i dropped in last and uh, yeah some of them this one that we looked at it's rubbish it's down to uh, 318 milliamp hours that's well that's not good uh, we have one here that is full completely wasted doesn't work anymore i have a couple here there is this one is definitely also fucked so it's gonna be very interesting to see um i think i have to change kind of half of the cells in this battery um well they are individual batteries but half of the cells has been destroyed it's just sitting over winter with the bms on it so that's not very smart actually so uh, yeah that's unfortunate Next video, I hope to have enough cells to uh, to fix this. I have enough cells to fix this, but it's gonna take a bit to um, to to find cells that are good and sort out which is usable and which is not. So, um, yeah, kind of a weird video here. I know it should be a Sunday video. It's gonna be a Friday video, but um, yeah, have a good weekend. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye bye.